Hi there, welcome back to Gadget Mad Lad. In this episode, I bought something specifically to do some madding. It was old news now, but I can get it in the shot. PlayStation Classic. Yeah, I should move the camera out a bit further, but sad it. You can see what it is. We're not. This isn't an unboxing, no, because it's not brand new. I bought it second hand. So um, this has got the PlayStation Classic has got. The CPU is a MediaTek MT8167A. It's a quad core ARM Cortex A35 at 1.5 gigahertz. Ooh. The GPU is a PowerVR GE8300. RAM is one gigabyte of DDR3 at 1866 megahertz. Storage is 16 gigabytes Samsung EMMC. Right, just one second. Right, now let's get some good stuff. Right, so I've got a couple of ideas for mods. So, one, I'm going to do the power mod. I'm going to get it out of the box. Now, not on camera, obviously, because it's a pain in the butt. Uh, right, inside the sleeve, we get like a little white box. If it would have been sealed, I would have like gone out of my way to unbox it, but it wasn't, so I said it. And inside that box we have another box, which is a drop of bleeding classic out of. So inside this we have the classic, tiny. And we have two controllers and some other bits and bobs. We'll get to that anyway, that's not important right now. Alright, uh, so I'm going to be modding this, i.e. put more games and stuff on it. So in order to do that, I need to be able to use these USB ports at the front, only output a certain voltage. So the problem with that is, only certain USB ports, sorry, certain USBs have um, the ability to run off low voltage that this can output on. I think that's right, if I'm saying that right. So we need to de-restrict the voltage, so to speak, and by doing so, it'll enable it to output 5 volts via the two USB ports on the front. That's what I'm going to do, one of the mods I'm going to do. The other mod is, from what I've seen of other teardowns, they actually, um, there's a USB port on the inside that's unpopulated. So my thought was, I'm going to populate that USB port. With a USB I've actually got somewhere. There, right in front of me. Blind as a butt. So let's put my screws for this and my magnifying glass next to me so I don't lose track of them. Yeah, so when this first came out, I really like the... You know, the premise of it and stuff, I like, I like the minis. It's the first one I've, I've actually got, you know, collected collection-wise. But, um... When it first came out and it said the games that are on it. I mean, I like Metal Gear Solid, that was like the game I was excited for. And the rest, not really so much, you get me? So, they could, when they heard that they hacked it within like a week or whatever it was, it was... Yeah, man. That's pretty goddamn cool. So... Went to buy one. They sold out everywhere because at that point they were reduced to I think it was thirty pounds in the UK, so it's like fifty British dollars I think. Well, anyway, that's when they all sold out, <laughs> and you could get one anywhere. Right, so just give you a quick run through what's an actual thing. So here we have a little fake thing above there. It's not real. HDMI port only it only outputs seven twenty p. Micro USB. Got a reset button, we've got a power button, and we've got an open button. From what I know, the open button, the relevance for that is for you know, like a game like Metal Gear Solid when you have two discs of it. When it says to change the disc, you'll press that or something, and then it does whatever it does. Uh, right, so let's crack it open. It's easy enough, just do that, the screws are gone, and that's it. The bottom bit open at least, so I'll stick that there for now. So we've got a few more screws. We've got four more screws. Do I need to be a small screwdriver? I think I will do. So, from what I've seen with this power mod, it is quite a simple mod to do. It's just like um, ground, shorting two capacitors to ground. Not together, I think it is. I've got it memorised in my head though, so it shouldn't take too long. The longest thing will be tearing it apart. <coughs> But it's about a week now, I've been really looking forward to getting this done, but I've been mega busy, so let's keep postponing it. 
think that should just give me the thing now. Don't mind that, it can just be slid back in. I think. Somehow, yeah. So that can be moved to the side so the buttons don't fall out of it. We won't be needing that for just now. Alright, does this just pop off or is the screws? Yeah, it just pops off. Yep, some thermal compound or pads or something holding it in place above the MediaTek CPU. Yeah, if you look there, that's the thing I was talking about. Unpopulated um, USB port. And this is something as well. I'm um, showing it well enough. So these four silver things there. I think that's either debug or another USB port. But these ones here, definitely for a USB. Oh crap. So it would go on like so. <laughs> Can't wait for crap there, can I? Uh, so like that. That would do the trick, I think. But obviously, the cover there, aren't they? So, I have to rethink. I actually pre soldered this. This is something I um, salvaged out of um, you know, USB extender. Put some legs in it because I thought it might work, but it looks a bit enough to do with wire, so never mind. Um, right, so if we look here, see these two? Focus, focus. See these two little black things, that and that, and two tiny little things. I need to run a tiny little bit of wire across the top of them, that'll bridge them. I also have to do it there, these two little, I'm not even showing you, I'm a <laughs> focus, god damn it. So these two little, focus, these two little resistors there. On this side as well, towards the capacitor. Because that's where the ground is, I think. And the back one. I am not 100% sure about that one. <laughs> but let's give it a go. So. Hmm. What I'll do, I'll do this as a two parter. So this one, I will do the power mod. And then we'll call it a day for this video, and then the next one, I'll pre, I'll prepare that before I do the video, and then I'll just get the video done and show me installing it. Okay, so that's how this one's going to go down. Right, so... Um, that is so goddamn tiny. Yeah, let's do number two first. Are you able to see that? Is that even visible to you? Can I zoom in maybe? Yeah, that's not the worst. So we're aiming for these two here. Right, so from what I know, if I just put a little bit of solder in the tip of my finger, make them touch, that should be enough. So let's be solder. Let's see if that works in theory then, shall we? So I'll just have to maneuver it like so. So I can get a good angle on the So, like I said, it's these two here. God damn it. That's not what stays to them. Trying to burn the board. Doesn't want to play ball. Get the extra silver. Actually, maybe a fox might help. That might be the trick. Well, it magnetise it maybe. Oh crap! Keep forgetting that. Keep it in the shot. <laughs> so that angle to fuse. Can you see it there? Right. So let's try it from this angle. Oh, 
Still all finessed, doesn't it? Bye, Jova. I think he's done it. Right, so we might find a last check, so it's got to be an eyeball. So I'll let you guys see first. Where are we? Where are we? Focus. I don't think it has, has it? No, it's not done it. God damn it. You see again? Yeah, you can see. Great time for the lights to be going, as always. I'm trying to fuzzle that chip next to it, but it doesn't seem to have taken his solder. So I think it might have to be a tack job. Hmm. Hmm, let's give it one more try. Let's, just, let's give it a double flux, actually. Let's see if that might help at all. Hmm. Oh, hi. Hopes at the moment, but it's, pos it's possible, I suppose. Let's use one of these. One of the legs off the USB that I prepared earlier. Well, that's my light really going. So sorry if the light's terrible. Uh, it's gonna get a bit of flux. I'll try to get a little bit of flux, but I don't want to play a ball again. No, that's too much. Gotta get this into place now. Oh god. They make it look so easy on YouTube, don't they? I won't mess you, but I'll tell you how hard it really is. Yeah, a little bobs flux for that'll do. So now let's just give it a little frazzle, it should, hopefully. Yeah, it's dissolve instantly, that's good. So if you've seen a flashing at home, obviously, that's not meant to be happening. Yeah, that ain't all, all, happening at all that. Plan B, wire. Right, so, let's just attempt. I'm coming at this now. Right, uh, tweezers. Tap one in place, come out with the flush cutters. Then now I should be able to push that down. Voila, I think that'll do the trick. Yeah, I'm seeing a nice steady connection between the two, beautiful. Well, that was ridiculously easy and written there, wasn't it? So let's go, where are you guys? So here we go, so we're on, this is player one now. So, my big fat stumpy finger, because we're zoomed in, is, is it two tiny little capacitors about the tip of it? Well, the other side of that is where we need to go with it, this. So where do I put that wire? God damn it. It wasn't new, was it, when I lay you? There. Uh -huh. Again, really sorry about the light. I thought I prepared for everything, and then it come to the crunch of it, and I hadn't. <laughs> so I think the right angle to come from air would be... Like so. We all getting a bit of shade there, aren't you? So, sorry about that, obviously. Right, so... Hmm. Put you there for a second. <clears throat> Let's get a bit of solder. 
I'm on the right side, I must have to be like that. God damn it. Let me out the way of you. Sorry about this, I'm just manoeuvring at the moment, so I can get it right. Are we right? Yeah, we're right. So back to the way we were originally. Bit of sold on the thing. Trying to add some extra so they can take to it properly. Now we get the thing out of them. Watch him call it. The air bit again, but I'm just messing about. I'm just a bit of why I'm talking about. Right, so should have cut this first. Would be wiser, wouldn't it? Actually, we know the length we need. So. Yeah, that's about right. And just to clarify how small the piece I need. That. Oh, yeah. Focus. Focus. See? That's how big a piece I'm using. Tiny, tiny piece. Right, I've been doing this way too long now, so let's get to the nitty gritty. Put that down there. God damn it. It's so small, it's magnetised to the bleeding What? Right, there we go, got it on there, just need to get it towards it with less plastic. Chewed up prior to. You're not mag magnetic, mate, so you'll do the trick, hopefully. So if I'm blocking the V people, I'm so lining I'm not doing any soldering yet, don't worry. Uh, that one, the less mashed up one can do the trick. God damn it. Oh, so close. Perfect. Oh, we can see that or not. Oh, god damn it, focus. Why is it going to focus now? That's horrible. Another touch there. There we go. So if you can see, I've got a little piece of metal there. I've not touched it yet, but the plan is now to touch it. Oh my god, magnetism, god damn it. Oh, this is a pain in the butt. Hey! Think that might work? I'm gonna have to add a bit of soul, but it's been a safe side. And I made flux to the other one, didn't we? Didn't do that to this one. Oh, god damn it. Where the hell are you? It's covered in solder now, so that's something. Get this crap off the end of this. Yeah, that's my steady connection. That will do the trick. And that, people. <coughs> oh, crap, the drop. My flux. <laughs> so I'll zoom out. No, I'll zoom in even more. Like a silly sausage. And I shall show you. So, this light is terrible. I'm so, uh, Right, where are we? So, here. Oh my god, what time for the light to go? Uh, oh, bleeding lights. Let's see, will this work? Let's try this. Let's so have a look at the camera a second. Uh, this is to be able to see me on the camera light. 
There you go. That's what it looks like. It's run out of batteries though. So if we can see. The other side there is like a bridge between the two capacitors, I think they are. A resistor, I'm not too sure, but they're bridged. And there as well. Oh, let me show you the right place, Emma. Focus, focus. See the bridge? See them too? That's the power mod essentially. That does the thing to give it the voltage that it needs now. So when I go to hack it, I won't necessarily need to have the sp a very specific USB put, you know, to do anything. It'll just work. That's the gist of it anyway. And so I'll call, cut this one short. I'll get myself prepped for the next video and I'll get the USB put on there. And hopefully it won't take longer than 20 minutes. Oh my God, sorry for being so long. Hope you enjoyed it though. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.